Staying on the ice and a week on Saturday, the puck will drop on the Women's Olympic Ice Hockey Tournament with host Russia hoping to reach the podium after clinching bronze at last year's World Championships. Michael Gravchenko has more from the team's training camp. The Russian women's ice hockey team is continuing to emerge from the shadows of their illustrious male counterparts after finishing a surprise third at last April's World Championships by beating Finland 2-0 in Canada to clinch their second bronze medal in the tournament's history. And with less than a fortnight to go until the Olympics, confidence remains high in the team camp. We really hope they can get a good result. Everyone knows how good 2013 was for the team, how much was done for women's hockey, and we have to thank the Ministry of Sport for that. Thanks for that first bronze medal in 12 years. The girls have now tested victory and are in a very good mood. The Russians are behind five-time winners the USA and hosts Canada on the podium, with the North American leagues representing the pinnacle of the women's game. None of the 21 Russians who will be going to Sochi play outside their native country, though among the 11 forwards, 7 defenders and 3 goalkeepers, there's a new wave of youngsters, though captain Ekaterina Smolenseva remains cautiously optimistic as she prepares for her fourth Winter Games. I wouldn't say this team is stronger than previous ones. That wouldn't be fair to those teams. I think every national team has to be strong. A captain has to believe in his or her team, don't they? And the many new girls that came in last year, they've given us extra dimensions to work with. So we'll see. And while the women's team doesn't seem to have any individual superstars like the men's team does in Alexandra Vechkin or Evgeny Malkin, they did bring in veteran player Ekaterina Pashkevich, who turned 42 last December, in order to help the girls out. When you get a little old, a little wiser, you know, you start to see things differently. You know, I see those girls, some of them I see, you know, what they do and how they train. Sometimes I see myself at their age and, you know, I'm just trying to share with them what would I would have done better, how it could make me better at their age if I, you know, would have done things differently perhaps or j just give them advice, you know, and then I understand their mental state of mind because I've been through it too. Former forward Pashkevich went to Boston in 1991 after the fall of the Soviet Union and later coached the women's team at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Her wealth of experience of playing for her national team as well as in North America is coupled with the recent injection of youth into the current squad, where half of the players are under 25, all bringing their talents together in what they hope is a winning formula. I think it's a good thing to have such a diverse squad because you're interacting with girls of all ages. Some of the girls you could even call mothers, so to speak. And having that maternal approach certainly helps. Also being able to guide the younger girls when something isn't right or just for additional support. I think it's the right approach. It's unusual, but it's good. Next weekend, the team will head to Sochi, where they'll have three training matches based on the same time frame as their Group B games which start against Germany on Sunday, the 9th of February. Michael Kovchenko, RT, Moscow Region.